Hello, Music Bear here, and Happy New Year to everybody. Um, <laughs> brilliant. Um, Auto Pen is now not disabled. I don't know. Um, it's gone anyway. Um, I'm going to show you today how you can work with uh, Synat SuperFX or Syn, as I like to call it. Um, even though that it gives problems when trying to open the user inter the graphic user interface, um, it crashes on uh, uh, several versions of um, current used uh, elements, and um, it, 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 it's, it's quite a drag. But we don't have to. Uh, have that problem, we can actually circumvent it. And this is how. The thing we're going to use is a VST. So I'm going to load a VST and open the VST and open the um, user photo icon to open the actual VST. And the VST I'm going to use is a um, a VST version of um, uh, Syn at Super FX or Syn. Um, oops, better take that in here. You can see it is here. It's a DLL, so it's a VST. Right? I open that. And it looks like this. It has a splash. It has a splash that you cannot, you shouldn't close because then it it will close also. So just throw it away to the side. And then you have this um, Synet SuperFX, uh, well-known, um, or perhaps not that well-known, but it is sim just as ours in Elements. It's the same um, user interface. So we can do the same thing. We can choose a um, uh, a uh, preset. Uh, there's another thing here. We have the banks. They are all available to um, to us as we like. In in um, in this now, I have to find the guitars again because well, where are they? Leads miss. He's a fully there it is. I'm I'm not very good at at uh, eyesight, so I'm sorry. Um, just say trash guitar tree, and it goes. You know that. Uh, maybe you didn't, but it does. And I can now edit this instrument. With no problems. Um, and. I don't know, we, we can just change it by adding some uh, uh, vibrator to it here. Vibration, I don't know. You can hear that quite easy. And the next thing we simply do is we close. I could do anything, anything. I can go into voice parameters, I can go uh, to the change of voice parameters, I can uh, go into the illegal, uh, or at least for, for me, uh, on um, uh, on my uh, XP, I get crashed if I choose uh, uh, these guys here. Um, but, but I can do anything, anything at all. I just want to uh, emphasize that. There's no limitation to anything you can do on um, uh, the, the, the SYN user interface. Nothing. Everything is open. All the kind of sin, all the kind of effect, everything is available to you. And, everything, and the only thing you now have to do is to go into this here, instrument, I'll just make sure it's focused, it is, instrument, and go to save instrument. And it will make a new um, uh, instrument in the type of um, uh, XIZ, that will be the type form of it. I don't want it there, I want it here, in something I call my bank, and uh, let's just call it uh, 
new stuff. Mm, I don't even think I have to write this X I said, but I'll do that just in case. And say OK. So now I have saved this into a new folder in uh, my sin collection. And this is the VST as it was in. Um, oh, sorry, this is the instrument as it was in the VST preset. We changed that, remember? And now I go into my uh, sync collections and I re uh, refresh it and I go into. Um, uh, I say? Go into uh, sync and into uh, my own bank and I have something here called new stuff. I right click it and open a new track, close it, I have to be a little bit fast here. Uh, I just got an information that new stuff here yeah. and done. I now have a new edited Synet SuperFX instrument but as a Synet SuperFX instrument, not as a VST. So you have made, I have made a Syn uh, preset out of a VST. I don't have uh, any more disk space so I have to stop now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you can use that in your own production. Thank you and bye bye.